Welcome, and thanks for joining us here at Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in Lincoln, Nebraska, where we still have our continued daily devotions on video, even though we do have some options for returning to church. If you'd like to see those options for returning to church, we, we are uh, back open. The details can be found at goodshepherdlincoln.org, right on the front page. But our devotion today for this sixth week of Easter is the epistle reading, James chapter 1, 22 to 27. But be doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man who intently looks at his natural face in a mirror. For he looks at himself and goes away and at once forgets what he was like. But the one who looks into the perfect law, the law of liberty, and perseveres, being no hearer who forgets, but a doer who acts, he will be blessed in his doing. If anyone thinks he is religious and does not bridle his tongue, but deceives his heart, this person's religion is worthless. Religion that is pure and undefiled before God, the Father, is this, to visit orphans and widows in their affliction, and to keep oneself unstained from the word from the world this is the word of the lord thanks be to god the holy spirit is speaking through saint james and comparing a christian's relationship to the word of god to a person looking in the looking in a mirror there are two ways to look in a mirror when you get up in the morning and you get that first glimpse of yourself in the mirror. One of the ways you can look at yourself in the mirror, oh, I've got gray hair, skin blemishes, wrinkles, bags under the eyes, extra skin under the chin now. Old age is setting in. You're not getting younger. The effects of time on your body they're not reversible. It's going to get worse until your body just quits. And back to the dust you go. But there's another way to look at yourself in the mirror in the morning. You got a haircut or you've colored your hair. It looks good. Your skin looks tighter and younger. The bags under your eyes are going away. You've been using the right lotions, the right shampoo, the right makeup. And you have made yourself look pretty darn good. You look into the mirror, and away you go to conquer the day. But in verse 24, as it says, you go away. And at once, you forget what you look like. But then there are the spiritual effects of a Christian looking into their mirror, the Word of God. One way is this. You hear the Word of God, and you read and you hear and you see all these things that you cannot possibly do. You forget your devotion time. You forget to pray. You get angry at people. You do not always speak kindly about others. You think about the pleasures of this world too strongly, creating false idols. You do this often. And you look into the mirror of the Word of God and you despair. Because you know there's no way you can comply with this law. You look into the mirror of the Word of God and you despair because you know that there is no way 
you could comply with this law. And there's another way to look into the mirror of the Word of God in His law. You hear the Word of God and what He wants you to do. And you know what? You've done a darn good job at keeping His rules. You rarely get angry. You go to church, you read your Bible, and you're focused on keeping the perfect law, getting it right, most of the time. You're not perfect, but then who is? In either case, when looking into that mirror of the Word of God, whether you are in despair or in a state of self-glorification, when you look into that spiritual mirror, you are deceiving yourself. Brothers and sisters in Christ, when you do that, you do not realize what the perfect law is. Verse 25, the one who looks into the perfect law, the law of liberty, and perseveres, being no hearer who forgets, but a doer who acts, he will be blessed in his doing. The perfect law, as it clearly states, is the law of liberty. The perfect law is being set free. Free from sin. Free from despair. Free from self-glorification. Free from self-righteousness. And yes, free from death. The perfect law is the gospel of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. This law of liberty, in this you have been set free by the blood of Christ. You have been set free by his death on the cross. All those moments when you were absorbed when you could not do, or could do, it was selfishness. Do not be deceived. For your selfishness, Jesus was selfless and paid with his holy precious blood. And therefore, God blesses your actions, your deeds, your works as a Christian through the blood of Christ. Because of the one great sacrifice of, sacrifice of Jesus, our Lord, you have been set free in the gospel, free in your vocations to not only hear the word, but to be a doer of the word. The seed of the word has already been planted in you. The seed of the word has taken root. The seed of the word has saved you. Look into this perfect word, this perfect law. Look into the perfect law, Jesus Christ. The law of liberty that sets you free and persevere. Not being a hearer, a hearer who forgets the mirror of the Word of God, but a doer who acts. And those who do these acts in Christ's blood will be blessed. This is God's instructions for you today in today's message because you have been set free from sin forgiven in Christ's blood, crucified and risen for you. Alleluia. Amen. We pray now the litany, Lutheran service book, page 288. Page 288. O Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. O Christ, have, have mercy. mercy. O Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. O Christ, hear, hear us. us. God, the Father in heaven, 
have, have mercy. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have, have mercy. God the Holy Spirit, have, have mercy. Be gracious to us. Spare, Spare us, good, good Lord. Lord. Be gracious to us. Help, Help us, us, good, good Lord. Lord. From all sin, from all error, from all evil. From the crafts and assaults of the devil. From sudden and evil death. From pestilence and famine. From war and bloodshed. From sedition and from rebellion. From lightning and tempest. From all calamity by fire and water. And from everlasting death. Good, good Lord, Lord, deliver us. By the mystery of your holy incarnation. By your holy nativity. By your baptism, fasting, and temptation. By your agony and bloody sweat. By your cross and passion. By your precious death and burial. By your glorious resurrection and ascension. And by the coming of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. Help, help us, us, good Lord. Lord. In all time of our tribulation. In all time of our prosperity. In the hour of death. And in the day of judgment, help us, good Lord. We poor sinners implore you to hear us, O Lord, to rule and govern your holy Christian church, to preserve all pastors and ministers of your church in the true knowledge and understanding of your wholesome word, and to sustain them in holy living, to put an end to all schisms and causes of offense. To bring into the way of truth all who have erred and are deceived. To beat down Satan under our feet. To send faithful laborers into your harvest. And to accompany your word with your grace and spirit. We implore you to hear us, good Lord. To raise those who fall and to strengthen those who stand. And to comfort and help the weak hearted and the distressed. We, we implore you to hear us, good Lord, to give to all peoples concord and peace, to preserve our land from discord and strife, to give our country your protection in every time of need, to direct and defend our president and all in authority, to bless and protect our magistrates and all our people, to watch over and help all who are in danger, necessity, and tribulation. To protect and guide all who travel. To grant all women with child and all mothers with infant children increasing happiness in their blessings. To defend all orphans and widows and provide for them. To strengthen and keep all sick persons and young children. To free those in bondage. And to have mercy on us all, we implore you to hear us, good Lord. To forgive our enemies, persecutors, and slanderers, and to turn their hearts. To give and preserve for our use the kindly fruits of the earth. And graciously to hear our prayers. We implore you to hear us, good Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, we implore you to hear us. Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, grant, grant us, us your, your peace. peace. O Christ, hear, hear us. us. O Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. O Christ, have, have mercy. mercy. O Lord, have mercy. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and most merciful God, in this earthly life, we endure sufferings and death before we enter into eternal glory. 
Grant us grace at all times to subject ourselves to your holy will and to continue steadfast in the true faith to the end of our lives, that we may know the peace and joy of the blessed hope of the resurrection of the dead and of the glory of the world to come. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, the consolation of the sorrowful and the strength of the weak, may the prayers of those who in any tribulation or distress cry to you graciously come before you, so that in every situation they may recognize and receive your gracious help, comfort, and peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Ever-present Lord, you have promised never to leave us nor forsake us, but to abide with us to the end of time. Grant that those who live alone may not be lonely, but find comfort both from your promises and fulfillment in loving you and their neighbors all their days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, Heavenly Father, give us grace to trust you during this time of illness and distress. In mercy, put an end to the epidemic that afflicts us. Grant relief to those who suffer and comfort all who mourn. Sustain all medical personnel in their labors and cause your people to ever serve you in righteousness and holiness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, Amen. We pray. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this day. And I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong and graciously keep me this night. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.